Good morning, and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome all of you joining us through live stream. We pray that you are in good health. Our gathering chant is number 442 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Praise to you, O Christ, our Savior. And our presider is Father Cecil Critch. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hope that you're all well. And uh, today the Mass will be offered for the repose of the soul of my mom, Mary Critch, whose anniversary is today. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we ask the Lord to come into our hearts and to ask the Lord to bring us healing and peace in the areas of our lives that need healing. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, glory of the faithful and life of the just, by the death and resurrection of whose Son we have been redeemed, look mercifully on your departed servant Mary, that just as she professed the mystery of our resurrection, so she may merit to receive the joys of eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, this command I gave to my people 
Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and you shall be my people, and walk only in the way that I command you, so that it may be well with you. Yet they did not obey or incline their ear, but in the stubbornness of their evil will, they walked in their own counsels and looked backward rather than forward. From the day that your ancestors came out of the land of Egypt until this day, I have per persistently sent all my servants, the prophets, to them day after day. Yet they did not listen to me or pay attention, but they stiffened their necks. They did worse than their ancestors did. So you shall speak all these words to them, but they will not listen to you. You shall call to them, but they will not answer you. You shall say to them, this is the nation that did not obey the voice of the Lord their God and did not accept discipline. Truth has perished. It is cut off from their lips. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to Psalm 95, Oh, that today you would listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts. Let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. Oh, that today you would listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture, the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Do not harden your hearts as at Mariba, as on the day at Massa in the wilderness. When, you, uh, when your ancestors tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my work. Oh, that today you to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts. Pray. 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus was casting out a demon that was mute. When the do- demon had gone out, the one who had been mute spoke, and the crowds were amazed. But some of them said, He casts out demons by Beelzebul, the ruler of the demons. Others, to test him, kept demanding from him a sign from heaven. But he knew what they were thinking and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself becomes a desert, and house falls on house. If Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out the demons by Beelzebul. Now if I cast out the demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your exorcists cast them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out the demons, then the kingdom of God has come to you. When a strong man fully armed, guards his castle, his property is safe. But when one stronger than he attacks him and overpowers him, he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his plunder. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. Sometimes we can do something good for others and they misinterpret it or see it as evil. In this morning's gospel reading, some people completely misunderstood the healing work of Jesus. Instead of acknowledging the life-giving power of God at work in Jesus, they declared that Satan was at work in his life. God was powerfully at work in Jesus, and many of his own contemporaries could not see it. Their hearts were hardened. We can all be blind to the finger of God, to the working of God among us, We are graced in many ways by God, and we hardly notice it sometimes. The Lord blesses us, and rather than recognize the blessing and giving thanks for it, we focus on what we do not have or what is wrong in our lives. We need to keep on praying for the gift to see as Jesus sees, which is the opposite of how people in today's Gospel reading saw God working in the person of Jesus. Jesus saw the working of God in all of creation, in the sower, the vineyard, the flowers of the field, and the birds of the air. He saw God's presence, especially in the poor, the outcast, and marginalized. Jesus teaches us to see with compassionate and hopeful eyes and with gratitude to God for all God's blessings. We're all very aware of the evil in the world. We see it in the news headlines every day. And sometimes we are so overwhelmed by it, we are tempted to fail to see the good that good will ever overcome the evil in the world. But today's gospel reminds us that the Lord is always stronger than evil and that the presence of God's kingdom in the world is more powerful than the presence of the kingdom of evil. The spirit of the risen Lord is always at work in our world and will triumph over all evil. As baptized Christians, it is our responsibility to be that prophetic voice of God, the prophetic voice of Jesus in our world today so that evil will never triumph over good. Evil triumphs if we as Christians are silent to the evil around us. And when we do not do the good, we are called to do. Through prayer and word and sacrament, we as individuals and we as church need to build up our army of spiritual strength to fight the spiritual battles we face with the evil one in our world every day. Our calling is to allow the Holy Spirit to fill us with courage so that we may become visible signs of the victory of God's love over evil and over hatred, of God's light over darkness. As we continue our journey to Lent, we pray that we may listen to the voice of the Lord in our daily lives and never harden our hearts to his call, especially to see him in those in need, the poor and the needy in our midst.
our prayers of intercession today. We pray for Holy Father Pope Francis and our Bishop Peter and all those who lead and guide our church in difficult times. We pray to the Lord. We pray for, during our Lenten season, that it may be an opportunity for personal and communal transformation of hearts to our prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. We pray to the Lord. Lord On this one-year anniversary of the start of the pandemic, we pray for all those negatively impacted by it, for the unemployed and the isolated, the sick and hospitalized, the hungry and the homeless, that they may know and receive the comfort and compassion of others. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick in our homes and hospitals and long-term care facilities and those who have asked for our prayers, for especially for Francis Xavier Doyle. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all those who have died, and today we remember members of my family, for Cecil Sr., for Mary, for Pat and Brenda. For all those who have died, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the prayers in the quiet of your hearts today. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, you are the source of all strength, the source of all consolation. We make our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. <coughs> By the mystery of this water and wine, when we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who will humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creations, that through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash away our iniquities, O Lord, and cleanse us of our sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Look, we favor, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make for the soul of your servant Mary, that being cleansed by heavenly remedies, her soul may be ever alive and blessed in your glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. of all holiness 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with them to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And we share that peace of Christ with one another. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I Lord, am not I worthy that you should enter under my, my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Communion hymn number 6.6 .6 in the Celebrate in Song, <clears throat> One Love Released. Let us pray. Restored by these sacred mysteries, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that your servant Mary may be cleansed from all offenses and merit for all eternity, the precious gift of the resurrection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Francis to Mary for help and protection during the coronavirus pandemic. O Mary, you always shine in our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide so that as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. 
Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Under your protection we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Just a reminder that tomorrow, um, uh, beginning at uh, 12 o'clock tomorrow, we will have 24 hours for the Lord, which is a, something that, hap that Pope Francis started a few years ago uh, during this time of Lent. And so we will go from tomorrow at 12 until Saturday at 12. Uh, the Blessed Sacrament will be exposed for 24 hours. Unfortunately, of course, we can have attendance of people uh, here for this. So we will be all done virtually. But tomorrow evening between 7 and 9, we will begin at 7 o'clock with a reconciliation service, virtual service, uh, scripture reading and reflection, and then music, uh, praise and worship music and various beautiful music for until from until about a quarter to nine and at quarter to nine in the more evening we will have benediction so blessed sacrament will be exposed for 24 hours and uh, praying for the hopefully the ending of this pandemic and all the other uh, prayers that we have in our hearts so you can you know take some time at home to uh, turn on the, your computer and uh, spend some time in adoration at this time the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go now in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Have a great day. Our missioning hymn number 371 in this Catholic Book of Worship, O Son of Justice, fill our hearts. <laughs>